name is Jack Epstein. I own Boston Brisket Company. Uh, it's a USDA uh, food establishment, meat establishment. We've been in business uh, 27 years. Um, we produce, one of the items that we produce is gray corned beef. In fact, we're the last people in Boston to make it. Gray corned beef is a traditional Irish um, corned beef. E even though they don't eat it in Ireland, they only eat it here. And the difficulty in um, producing that product is made just with salt and water. So we have to go through a, um, a process that is very, um, in, you know, uh, labor intensive. Brisket is the um, breast. This is um, one of the tougher pieces of meat. Um, that's why they chose to make it into a corned beef. Um, although today they use it for um, smoking, but you've got to cook it for like between you know 10 and 12 hours. The product comes from either the bench or straight from the bin into the injector. Those are needles, they're fed from this tank, which contains fresh brine, um, goes up through the needles into the meat, then it goes into that holding brine, in the, and then we put it um, in the tank, let it sit there one to seven days. After, um, after they've been in the tank for a allotted period of time, we, we package them. We either put them in barrels, which contain a brine, or we cry back. That's 90% of the stuff is cryovac today. It goes, it goes into the bag through the shrink, um, through the um, cryovac machine into a shrink tunnel, and that shrinks it so that there's uh, no air in it at all. And if you see the color of those briskets, they're gray, thus gray corned beef. There is a process that we go through. If, if some people will notice when they go shopping, and they see some gray corned beef, it's red. Ours is not, and that's why people buy it from us. I'm very fortunate, I've got a great crew. A lot of the guys have been me with me for a while. The fellow with the tall hat is um, Tony Capulca, who uh, is the plant manager, runs the plant. Works very, very hard. He's here early in the morning, does what we call a pre-op to the USDA. Um, we have to clean and sanitize the entire plant uh, and have it be ready for inspection by 7 o'clock the next morning, every day.